What up, party people? Matt Lehman, the owner of SpatulaCityRecords.com for all of your used vinyl and sometimes new vinyl needs. Here we go. Are you ready? Some of you were privy around, privy to play the March Madness that I did. Some of you have no idea what I'm talking about, so we'll explain that in just a minute. Last March, I did a March Madness with vinyl records. And we went all the way through 64 teams, and they went through to the winner. The winner was, I'm not even going to say it. Uh, I'd rather not say who won. Uh, but anyway, I enjoyed doing it. I thought it was a lot of fun, and I didn't want to wait till March. So I'm going to do a Rocktoberfest. Uh, starts on October 7th. So your entries must be in by October 6th at midnight. If they are not finished, if your brackets are not complete, they will be... <clears throat> Please remember, this is free for anybody to play. If you want to play, if your friends want to play, it's one bracket per person. But you can play, your wife can play, your spouse can play, your kids can play. I don't care who, who plays. Uh, so, as long as they have... I think it's you have to have an email address. But it's free to play. Um, I'll give you the details as to where to go to fill it out in just a minute. And... Uh, there, these are the prizes. I'll get to the rules. I know a lot of last time a lot of people didn't know what they were doing and they've never played a March Madness bracket. So I will go over the rules in just a minute on how this works. But let's get to the prizes first because I am giving away stuff. Uh, first place will get a set of two, two of my resin coasters. I don't know if you can see these. These are coasters that are actually record labels that have been encased in two-part resin. Um, these need to be sanded. I haven't quite finished them yet, but that's you get the idea. First of all, these are record labels that were unable from... I was unable to repair them or save them, so they became coasters. So the, I didn't destroy records to do this. I get that ass. Oh my god, I can't believe you destroyed records. I didn't. These are salvaged. Um, you will get two of these coasters of your choice. I have probably close to 60 or 70 of them ready to roll. Um, so I'll give you a list and you can decide first place gets first choice. You also get a $50 gift certificate to the website to spend as you see fit. Uh, second place will get two coasters and $25 gift certificate to spend any way you see fit. Uh, and last place, third place will get, eh, let's do it. Two coasters of your choice and it'll either be a, Record bag and stickers like Spatula City record bags, uh, totes, the canvas totes, or a t-shirt, but the t-shirt is dependent on whether or not I have it in your size. I'm running low on t-shirts and I haven't really decided if I'm going to print more or how what, what they're going to look like when I do print them actually is more, like, more, more correct. So, two coasters for everybody, $50 for first place, $50 for first place, $25 for second place, and a tote or t-shirt dependent thereon. Um... Again, it's free for all, I, but I do pay for the website to host this, dependent on how many, how many entries I get. It's a, it's a tiered system, so the more people, the more I pay. Um, so please be considerate on that, and uh, that's why I'm nixing you if you don't have your brackets filled out, because that's one less thing I have to pay for. So get your brackets in. They have to be in by October 6th at midnight. The tournament will start October 7th. And now I will get to the rules. Okay, so here it is. This is basically how a March Madness or any sort of bracket works. Uh, and you can do them in different numbers. Obviously, I prefer to do 64 because that's a typical March Madness bracket. So there are four divisions. Ladies of the 80s, boys of the 80s, 80s synth pop, and at the club in the 80s. Okay, so there are four divisions. So let's focus on one division first. Okay, so each division has 16 players, 16 teams. And those 16 teams will go head to head one at a time in, in matches of two. And if they, whoever wins that one goes to this one, whoever wins this one goes to this one. Okay, so um, let's say it's Madonna versus Peter Gabriel, just because it's on the top of my head. So if you think that Madonna is going to beat Peter Gabriel, then you put Madonna here. And then if this is Guns N' Roses and this is uh, In Excess. If you think In Excess is going to beat Guns N' Roses, then you put In Excess here. If you think In Excess is going to beat Madonna, then you put In Excess here. Okay, so then it goes all the way down to the bottom. Once you get that bracket done, 
you go to the next bracket and it goes the same way and the next bracket and the next bracket when you get to the final four is when the divisions actually start going against each other so i this doesn't look this isn't right to me um i think on the runyourpool.com which is where we're going runyourpool.com i'm gonna say that again i'm gonna give you a link in just a minute but runyourpool.com i'm pretty sure it's div this division matches this division this division goes against this division and then those go to final two so exam so the example is let's say you picked in excess to i'm sorry my hat keeps hitting this uh the if you pick in excess to go all the way to win this division boom in excess and down here you've got george michael george michael okay george michael george michael will play in excess for the finals and whoever wins that or for the semifinals i'm sorry in excess let's say you pick in excess to beat in excess is now in the finals and at the club in the 80s, let's say you picked NWA, and NWA makes it all the way to the semifinals. And down here, synth pop, you've got uh, Mexican radio, which is, I don't know, let's say uh, orchestral maneuvers, whatever. That's not them, but that's what came to the top of my head. So you pick orchestral maneuvers in the dark, or whatever their name is, to go to the semifinals. You pick NWA to win that, then NWA goes against NXS in the finals, okay? You only get one shot. Um, so if Peter Gabriel gets knocked out in the first round, they don't get a chance to come back. Uh, the way the point system works, this is, this is important because you could really screw up all your brackets and technically still win the entire thing because the first round is each worth one point. So every one of these that you get right, you get one point, okay? The next round is worth two points. So every one of those in the second bracket you get is worth two points. The next round is worth four points, okay? Each one you get right is worth four. Next one is worth eight. The next one is worth 16. And the final, I think, is worth 32. Um, might be 64. I, I have to look at the point system. But so just because you get busted out or beat up pretty bad on the first round, and trust me, when you see these, someone, people are going to be busted out left and right. One of these, so I'll give it away right now. These are all 12 inch singles. So they're not Madonna's albums or Peter Gabriel's So or Guns N' Roses' Appetite for Destruction. It's actually 12 inch singles. So it's like Madonna's Angel. And then it's like Madonna's Angel versus Madonna's uh, Living at the Prayer, Living on a Prayer or whatever it is. Uh, and I'm not kidding. One of these brackets is all this, this ladies of the eighties is almost all Madonna 12 inch singles. So good luck figuring out which Madonna song is the best one to go through here. I did this to make it a lot harder for gerrymandering. I did one other thing to make it harder for gerrymandering, but I'm just, like I said, I, it's just for fun. I just thought it was fun. I only can pick records that I have in stock and I decided to do eighties 12 inch cause I had a lot of them. And, but I also had a ton of Madonna. So I was like, let's see what happens. So that's how this works. The way you'll see it on my website or on in, on my Instagram is every day on October 7th, you'll see the first four, first four rounds. I'm trying to think. Usually I do it by bracket. So the first day you'll see match one, match two, match three, and match four. Next day you'll see match one, match two, match three, and match four of the boys. Next one you'll see match one, two, three, and four of synth pop, and then four, and then I'll go back and get into the second round, and then we'll go back and forth. Uh, every day I do four team ups. So on my, this is how points are scored. This is a straight up popularity contest. So whoever votes, anybody can vote on my Instagram. When you vote, you have to vote for all four of them. You can't just vote for one or I'll nix it. You must vote for all four of the matches of the day. So if it's Madonna versus Peter Gabriel, Guns N' Roses versus In Excess, and it's NWA versus Madonna and a Madonna versus Madonna, then you have to pick all four of those. So you would pick Peter Gabriel, In Excess, Madonna, and Madonna if that's what you felt was going to move on to the next round. You can only vote once. Anybody can vote. And that's all I'm going to say for now. But so then once that, and it's 24 hours for voting. So I post it in the morning, usually around 8 or 9 a.m. my time, and it goes until 8 or 9 a.m. the next morning. That's it. Once the votes are all in, clock is stopped. I count them up, move on. Count them up, score the winners, and move on. And that's it. The website itself, runyourpool.com, will keep tally of the points. And that is the rules for this. Okay, so, as I said, these are 80s singles. So you pick the single that you think 
is going to win that round. Madonna, whichever Madonna song you think is going to win, whichever Janet Jackson song you think is going to win, whichever it's like blah, blah, blah. This is the information you need to know. The website is go to runyourpool.com, R-U-N-Y-O-U-R-P-O-O-L.com, runyourpool.com. In the top, almost top part of the board and in the, in the top of the website and almost to the center, it'll say join a tournament. And you want to click on that. And then it's going to ask you for a tournament number and a password. Okay, so here it is. Tournament number, 175899. Once again, 175899. I will post this after this video, so you don't have to rush to it. It'll be linked there, and I'll put it in the Instagram and the YouTube. The password is... The password. Spat80Rock. S-P-A-T, as in spatula, 80, 8, 0, as in 80s, rock, R-O-C-K, spat, 80, rock. There's no caps in it. I don't think it's uh, sens case sensitive, but so those are it. Those are your rules. Again, your brackets must be filled out by October 6, 2021 at midnight. If not, it will be axed. Just go through it. It'll walk you through it. You can change your picks as many times as you want all the way up until uh, registration closes, which is October 6th at midnight. So if you change your mind, you think Peter Gabriel's going to meet Madonna, then you can change it. Not a problem. If you have any questions about these rules or if you don't understand it, just watch this video again in slow motion and I'm sure it'll be fine. Later.